If we leave some ice outside, we all know it melts because heat energy flows into the ice from the surrounding. But here's a thought. If we leave water outside, why can't heat energy flow out of it and convert it into ice? This is because of something known as entropy. To start off, entropy can be defined as a measure of chaos and disorder of a system. But this definition can be misleading. For example, compare these two systems here. A is a glass of crushed ice, while B is a glass of water. If entropy relates to disorder, which glass has high entropy? Many people would say A, the glass of crushed ice, but actually B has high entropy. To understand this, let's get down to basics. Everything you see around you can be broken down into molecules. Each molecule can be broken down into atoms. Similarly, even energy can be broken down into indivisible packets known as quanta. These atoms, molecules and quanta can be arranged in so many different ways within a system. Each arrangement is called a microstate and the relative quantity of these arrangements defines entropy. Now let's compare glasses A and B from earlier using an example. In a solid, the molecules are tightly packed together so the number of possible arrangements of a solid within a system is less. In this simplified example, it's only 6. In a liquid, the molecules are more loosely packed so the number of possible arrangements in a liquid is more. In this model, it's an enormous amount. This shows that liquid water will have higher entropy than crushed ice. The second law of thermodynamics tells us that in a spontaneous reaction, the entropy of a system will always increase. So for a reaction to happen on its own, the amount of possible arrangements can only increase. When water changes from solid to liquid, entropy increases so the reaction can happen on its own. However, it will not change from liquid to solid as this will cause a decrease in entropy. So unless we intervene by artificially cooling the water, it will remain as a liquid. This is why entropy is so important. It explains why some changes can occur spontaneously and why others can't. It's why sugar dissolves in water, perfume spreads in air, campfires continue to burn, and why so many reactions and physical changes occur to make the world what it is.